Hi Kingdom Kids, it's Miss Yvonne here with our second Advent video. So this week we are looking at peace. So Pastor Daniel preached a little bit about peace on Sunday. So if you haven't watched that, maybe ask your family for you guys to watch that video and that preaching before we go into this video. But today I'm going to be reading for us Psalm 29 verse 11. And this is what it says. May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. So this week we are going to look at that word peace. So what do you think of when you hear the word peace? Maybe you think of being quiet, stillness. Maybe you think of a stream, a little creek, calmness, freedom. Maybe you feel peace when you are getting along with others, when you're getting along with your siblings and your family. And when you're going to sleep, you might feel peace or when you're safe. These all describe feeling peace, correct? Feeling peace around us. God sent us Jesus. And Jesus is the savior of the world. And why did he send him? He sent, a, he sent his son so that we friends could have true peace inside of us. And another name for Jesus is, as we know, the Prince of Peace. We can have true peace when we trust Jesus to take care of us. Jesus loves us and he wants us to have true peace. So this week, find a time in which you as a family can do an activity together that brings you peace. Maybe it is doing a puzzle together, or maybe watching a Christmas movie, or maybe you just need to turn off electronics and you can turn off your phones and just have a nice conversation as a family. Watercolor, color, draw a picture that reminds you of a peaceful time. Whatever that activity is, take it as a time to reflect about what Jesus did. Jesus was born a humble, humble birth. And so for me, my activity is playing the piano. So that is what I'm gonna do for us now. I'm going to be playing Silent Night. And the reason I'm gonna be doing that is because we are remembering the birth of our savior. It's a still, calm, quiet night. There was peace around. And this is an activity that brings me peace. something that brings you peace, that brings you and your family peace. And then maybe you can draw an example of what brings you peace. You can get some coloring paper and you can get some crayons and just draw a time that brought you peace. Maybe it was a trip to the lake or maybe it was a walk around the park, whatever brings you peace. But let us remind ourselves and our families that Jesus gives us the true peace inside of us. So I have two questions for us to reflect on as a family. First one is, how can you remember that Jesus gives us true peace? So discuss that as a family. Think about ways that Jesus gives us true peace. And then the second question is, what are ways in which you can tell others how to have peace? During this pandemic, it has been very difficult for families to find peace and to just trust that everything is going to be okay. But maybe you can be that instrument that God can use and that you can bring peace to someone else that is in just going through a difficult time and struggling to find that peace. So may we encourage each other, may we encourage our community, our friends, our loved ones, and our church family that the Prince of Peace was born in the town of Bethlehem. All right, Kingdom Kids, thank you so much for tuning in and tune in next week for the next week of Advent. Bye.